two, one. Hey guys, it's Jason here, coming from E from Cottage Grove, Oregon. Um, we are gonna preview the Utah Utes coming in one and three, four and three overall. Um, last three straight. Um, they will be going up to Eugene on a Saturday. Um, they're going to Eugene on a Saturday to play. Um, Oregon, which Oregon is also coming off of the third loss. They're four and four, one and three in the conference. You could catch this game 245 on the Pack Trump Network. Um, should be a fun game. These two teams match up pretty similar. Um, if you look at the numbers, um, offensively, uh, Utah averages about 400 yards per game. Um, and the Oregon Ducks averages about four, 450. Mainly on the West game, um, they have averaged 244 on the ground per game. Um, so, can the Utah slow down Oregon's West, Western attack if um, Justin Herbert is not able to play? Um, we'll talk about that later. Um, for Oregon's offense with Boomeister in the, the last three ball games, they haven't been able to move the ball. Last week was the best point production with um, Boomeister in that they scored 14 points in the second quarter last week at UCLA, um, but that was the only points that they scored. Um, they, they moved the ball. Uh, quite well in the Rose Bowl, but um, they would across the 50 and then just forget how to move the ball. Um, so, um, let's see if Oregon, being at home after two road games, let's see if um, the Oregon offense can get going. Um, let's talk about Utah real quick. Um, third straight loss, they're coming after um, Arizona State beat them last week. They lost to USC, and they went for a two-point conversion. It was 28-27. Um, Millingham decides to like to kick their PAT. They went for two, and they didn't make it. Um, they lost that game, and they lost another close game um, to Stanford at home. Um, that game was a one-school game in the fourth quarter. Stanford, um, Stanford went, went away with the game and, um, the school indicated it was a bigger blowout than what it was. It was a very good game, um, per se. So, uh, Utah, hopefully they could rebound and keep their slim hopes in the South, um, alive. Very slim to win it, but they need a couple more wins to be bowl eligible. Um, all Utah fans, all Oregon fans, um, per se, they know who the leading wide receiver is. It's a former Oregon Duck, Duck Darren Carrington. Um, and the Carrington's really bought out. Um, we have seen this at Oregon uh, for the last three years, what Carrington has brought to the Oregon offense. He is bringing to the Utah offense. He has 649 yards and five touchdowns on the season. So, um, Carrington will probably be looking for a big performance. Um, this Oregon pass defense, which is improved, but it's not to the level of standard that um, Jim Levitt wants the pass defense. They're not, they're not forcing the turnovers. As much they only have, I want to say one interception in the conference play, maybe two, but it's not much. The pass defense is giving up 244 yards. They haven't let anybody get the yards and whatnot. And um, um, so the the pass defense, yeah. The, given up on the 300 yards, but um, 
you would look at it, um, and if you look at much of Hogan's last three ball games, they're giving up yards mainly in the first quarter. And if you look quarters two to three, two to four, they're not giving up a lot of points. They're not giving up um, that many yards after the first quarter. So that's another thing. That's another key for Oregon. For Oregon Stevens, come out right away to um, get stops and whatnot. Don't let the first couple drives thin that you wake up. But if the Oregon defense can come out and it gets stops, we will be fine. Um, let's spring it to Oregon real quick before we get out of here. Um, Oregon's offense on the season, 34.9 points per game. The defense giving up 30 points per game. Um, it should be an interesting ball club. Um, I, I spoke earlier of if Herbert's going to be back. Herbert is not ruled out for this game. Um, the last thing I saw was on Wednesday yesterday. Um, Rudy Tiger has not ruled him out for Saturday's ball game. Um, he has been throwing. Um, he, threw more, he threw more this week than he did last week. And he was throwing dimes last this week in the practice. He was throwing a 30, 40 yard of dimes doing what Justin Herbert is doing. Um, this offense looks very, very different with Herbert in and with Boomaster in. With Boomaster in, Oyen hasn't been able to pass the ball as well. The running end's still there to a, to a point, but um, it's, it's a lot different with Herbert in there. Herbert. Um, can throw the ball down the field, and he has thrown it. Um, Morgan's season would have been a lot different if Herbert was healthy. Um, I truly believe, I don't think we win all three ball games, but possibly we might win two of the last three. But it is what it is. Injuries are part of the game. Um, Where's Freeman? Um, and he's about 40 yards away, 30 yards away for another 1,000 yard a season. 10 touchdowns. He's only had one touchdown in a pack of trouble play, I believe. Um, so, let, let's see if Freeman could keep it going and won it. So, it's cool prediction with Herbert in. I think Oregon wins 38-17 without Herbert. I think Utah wins, and I think it's a 38-14 ball game if Herbert can't play. But it should be a fun game. Two evening match teams coming in to Austin Stadium. 2:45 kickoff on the Pac-12 Network. Utah is a slight three-point favorite um, in Vegas, so it should be a fun game. My name's Spencer Jason from Carter's Grove. And enjoy the rest of your day. This has been the Humpy Report. Goodbye.